So you might have heard about the bird charger program where contractors find bird scooters, take them home to charge them, and deploy them in the morning for riders to use. But did you know there's also a bird mechanic program? And just as you'd imagine, bird mechanics locate scooters in need of repair, diagnose and fix them either in the field or back at home, and then release the repaired scooters for riders to use and get paid. And that's basically it. Now, one common question people have is, can I work as both a charger and a mechanic? And the answer is no, you have to choose one or the other. The process to becoming a bird mechanic is pretty straightforward. You'll submit your info online, chat with a bird representative, and then once you study some repair videos and correctly answer some questions about the repairs, your account will be activated and you'll be ready to work as a mechanic. But first you'll need to get some tools and some more tools and maybe a few more tools. And Bird will send you supplies you'll need to get started on some common repairs, things like stickers and tires and tubes and collars. And once your mechanic account is activated, you can open your Bird Rider app and toggle into mechanic mode. On the map, you'll see birds that are marked damaged for mechanics to repair and other birds marked collect that just need to be transported to the local facility for major repairs, which mechanics can't do on their own. And how do birds end up on this map? Well, they've been reported as damaged by chargers and or riders. Now, once you select a bird on the map, you can see its last location and ride information. And the more recent the information, the more likely it is the bird is still there. In some markets, these birds get scooped up pretty quickly, so you've gotta be on your toes. But just remember that as long as people are riding and using birds, there will always be new damaged birds popping up on the mechanic map for you to fix. Now, when you've located the bird you're looking for, you can capture it into your account and it'll be removed from the map. The next thing you'll want to do is diagnose what's wrong with the scooter. You can usually figure out the problem pretty quickly, but if not, you can ride the bird and go through the full inspection to diagnose the issue. The types of repairs you'll do as a mechanic vary based on the hardware. Now, the different scooters that Bird uses all have different repairs that mechanics generally perform. Some common repairs include things like flat tires, brake and throttle adjustments, and kickstand repairs. And depending on what needs to be fixed, you might want to repair the bird out in the field, or you might want to bring it back home to work on it there. Bird provides a database with step-by-step -step video tutorials on how to perform all of the repairs and which tools you'll need to perform them. So you can always consult those videos if you run into any trouble. And if you need to restock on supplies, you can contact support and they'll send you some more. And if you've captured a damaged bird that you just can't fix, you can bring it to your local facility and you'll still earn a transport fee. For the birds you successfully repair, you'll drop them in the same neighborhood nests that chargers use. Now I'm sure you're wondering, how much does it pay to be a bird mechanic? Well, currently mechanics earn $15 for completed repairs, $10 for bringing birds marked collect to the local facility, and $5 for transporting any damaged birds that you capture but can't repair. As for how long it takes to do a repair, that really depends on the repair and on the mechanic. Some repairs and adjustments might only take a few minutes, but others might be more involved. And the most successful mechanics are gonna be able to efficiently find, diagnose, and repair birds. So should you become a bird mechanic? If you're handy and maybe have experience working on bikes or cars, it could be worth checking out. You know, when compared to being a charger, you can earn more per bird as a mechanic, but there is usually a lot more work involved for each bird you capture. Mechanics do have more flexibility in their schedules versus chargers, whereas most birds for chargers become available at 9 p.m. and you have to charge them and release them by 7 a.m. the next morning. Mechanic birds pop up on the map throughout the day and there's a little more flexibility in how quickly they need to be released. Now, if you are interested in becoming a bird mechanic, we'll leave a sign up link down below so you can go ahead and check that out. And if you have any questions or comments, please go ahead and just type them in that box. I'm Ezra and until next time, Happy birding. One, two, three, jump!